how we'll be remembered in 200 years. I happen to live in a little town, Princeton, in, in, in New Jersey, which every year celebrates the great event in Princeton history, the Battle of Princeton, which was, in fact, a very important battle. It was the first battle that George Washington won, in fact, and it was a, 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 a pretty much of a turning point in the War of Independence. It happened 225 years ago. It was actually a terrible disaster for Princeton. The town was burned down. The, 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 it was in the middle of winter, and it was a very, very severe winter. And about a quarter of all the people in Princeton died that winter from hunger and cold. But nobody remembers that. What they remember is, of course, the great triumph that, that the Brits were beaten and we won, and that the, the, the country was born. And so I, I, I agree very emphatically that the pain of childbirth is not remembered, it's the child that's remembered. And that's what we're going through at this time. I wanted to just to, to talk for one minute about the future of biotechnology, because I think I know very little about that. I'm not a biologist, so I, I, everything I know about it can be said in one minute. <laughs> What I'm saying is that we should follow the model that has been so successful with the electronic industry that what really turned computers into a great success in the world as a whole is toys. As soon as computers became toys when kids could come home and play with them, then the, the industry really took off. And that has to happen with biotech. There's a huge... <laughs> There's a huge community of people in the world who are practical biologists, who are dog breeders, pigeon breeders, orchid breeders, rose breeders, people who ha handle biology with their hands and who are dedicated to producing beautiful things, beautiful creatures, plants, animals, pets. These people will be empowered with biotech. And that will be an enormous positive step to the acceptance of biotechnology. That will blow away a lot of the opposition. When people have this technology in their hands, you have a do-it-yourself biotech kit, grow your own grow your own dog, grow your own cat. <laughs> Just buy the software, you design it. <laughs> I won't say any more. You can take it on from there. It, it's, it's going to happen. And it will, it, it, I think it has to happen before the technology be, 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 becomes natural, becomes part of the human condition, something that every, everybody is familiar with and everybody accepts. So let's leave that aside. I want to talk about something quite different, which is what I know about, and that is astronomy. And I, I'm interested in searching for life in the universe, and it's open to us to introduce a new way of doing that, and that's what I'll talk about for 10 minutes or whatever the time remains. The important fact is that most of the real estate that's accessible to us. I'm t not talking about the stars, I'm talking about the solar system, the stuff that's within reach for spacecraft, within reach of our Earth-bound telescopes. Most of the real estate is very cold and very far from the sun. If you look at the solar system as we know it today, it has a few planets close to the sun, that's where we live. It has a fairly substantial number of asteroids between the orbit of the Earth out to, to order of the orbit of Jupiter. The asteroids are a substantial amount of real estate, but not very large. And it's not very promising for life, since most of it consists of rock and metal, mostly rock. It's not only cold, but very dry. So the asteroids we don't have much hopes for. 
There's then some interesting places a little further out. The moons of Jupiter and Saturn, particularly there's a place called Europa, which is Europa is one of the moons of Jupiter, where we see a very level ice surface which looks as if it's floating on top of an ocean. So we believe that on Europa there is in fact a deep ocean and that makes it extraordinarily interesting as a place to explore. Oceans are probably <coughs> the most likely place for life to originate just as they orig it originated on the Earth. So we would love to explore Europa, to go down through the ice, find out who is swimming around in the ocean, whether there are fish or seaweed or sea monsters, whatever there may be that's exciting, or cephalopods. But that's hard to do. Unfortunately, the ice is thick. We don't know just how thick it is, probably miles thick. So it's very expensive and very difficult to go down there, send down your submarine or whatever it is, and explore. That's something we don't yet know how to do. There are plans to do it, but it's hard. Go out a bit further, you find that beyond the orbit of Neptune, way out, far from the sun, that's where the real estate really begins. You find millions or trillions or billions of objects which in what we call the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud, these are clouds of small objects which appear as comets when they fall close to the sun. Mostly they just live out there in the cold of the outer solar system. But they are biologically very interesting indeed because they consist primarily of ice with other minerals which are just the right ones for developing life. So if life could be established out there, it would have all the essentials, chemistry and sunlight, everything that's needed. So what I'm proposing is that there is where we should be looking for life rather than on Mars. Although Mars is of course also a very promising and interesting place. But we can look outside very cheaply and in a simple fashion and that's what I'm going to talk about. There is a, imagine that life originated on Europa and it was sitting in, in the ocean for billions of years. It's quite likely that it would move out of the ocean onto the surface just as it did on the Earth. Staying in the ocean and evolving in the ocean for two billion years finally came out onto the land and then of course it had great, much greater freedom and a much greater variety of creatures developed on the land than had ever been possible in the ocean. The step from the ocean to the land was not easy, but it happened. Now, if life had originated on Europa in the ocean, it could also have moved out onto the surface. There wouldn't have been any air there. It's a vacuum. It is out in the cold. But it still could have come. You can imagine that the, 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 the plants growing up like kelp through cracks in the ice growing on the surface. What would they need in order to grow on the surface? They'd need, first of all, to have a thick skin to protect themselves from losing water th through, the, through the skin. So they would have to have something like a reptilian skin. But better, what is more important is that they would have to concentrate sunlight. The sunlight in Jupiter in, in, on the satellites of Jupiter is 25 times fainter than it is here since Jupiter is five times as far from the sun. So they would have to have these creatures which I call sunflowers which I imagine living on the surface of, of Europa would have to have either lenses or mirrors to concentrate sunlight so they could keep themselves warm on the surface. Otherwise, they would be at a temperature of minus 150, which is certainly not favorable for developing life, at least of the kind we know. But if they just simply could grow like leaves, little lenses and mirrors to concentrate sunlight, then they could keep warm on the surface. They could enjoy the, all the benefits of the sunlight and have roots going down into the ocean. Life then could flourish much more. So, 
Why not? Look, of course, it's not very likely that there's life on the surface of Europa. None of these things is likely. But my, my philosophy is look for what's detectable, not for what's probable. There's a long history in astronomy of unlikely things turning out to be there. And I mean, the finest example of that was radio astronomy as a whole. This was